Hello Internet, welcome to the Kennedy's channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can use this cool masking technique in Adobe Premiere to achieve great colors using the HSL secondary, combining it with masking. So let's see how this can be done in Premiere. Without further ado, let's dive into the video. So once you are in Premiere, we'll head over to the Lumetri and then add a Lumetri color effect. Now, the thing about Premiere Pro is the more effects you keep adding to a clip, the more processing power you're going to require for Premiere Pro to be able to process whatever effects that you've added. So you'll need a very good GPU. For example, right now I'm using the GE Force NVIDIA GTX card, which is very good. Okay. So once you've added a Lumetri color effect, come right down here under the HSL secondary. And then using this color picker tool, let's pick up the greens here. Okay. And then you come under this little thing here <laughs> that allows you to view the mask. You make sure you have that checked. Once that is checked, you're able to see the selection. So you come and pick this, you come and select the color picker tool that has a plus, which means the plus means that you're selecting more color. So you come and just kind of draw, kind of paint around the greens. Paint around the greens like that. And then you can come and check this. So once you have that unchecked, you can then come and affect the greens by simply shifting this to wherever you like. So I like to shift these greens towards the orange up here. I'm going for uh, that kind of summer autumn look. That's what I'm going for right now. So let's do this. So you just shift that up there. Let's just scrub through, okay? So we see that Premiere has made a good selection of that. Now, what we have to do right now at this moment, you make sure that for every Lumetri color effect you add, you have to rename it so that you don't get confused later on if you need to make any more changes or any more corrections. So I'm going to call this forest background like that. So I have that. So that's our first Lumetri color effect. And then, of course, you have to come and denoise here, denoise a bit and also increase on the blur so that the mask is not like the edges of the mask are not very sharp. So you come and denoise, add some noise. 7.5 is good enough. So now we'll come here and add another Lumetri color effect. Come here, up here, and the Lumetri, add another Lumetri color effect. Now the next thing that we're going to affect here, we're going to affect the greens in the mid ground here. So using the same eyedropper tool or the color picker tool, let's just draw like that. Let's draw over those greens. You realize it's even picking up some of the greens up here. The heart here also is being selected. Just deselect that. And I think I'm happy with that selection. You can uncheck this and then come here under the color correction and also adjust that accordingly. So I'll move that towards orange just like that. We're not yet done. So we'll rename this Lumetri color effect, call it mid-ground, okay? Mid-ground. And then of course, make sure you denoise and you add some blur to that. Let's go back to the very first Lumetri color effect that we added. I want to maintain the color of her dress, the green in there. So I'll come and create a mask like that. I, I just invert the mask, make sure the mask is inverted and just put this mask over our model, just like that. Let's refine this selection. Let's refine it using the HSL, the hue. So I think I'm happy with that. And then let's come back to our mask. So what we're going to do is we're going to add, make some fine adjustments to our mask, right? Come under the mask path, create a mask path keyframe. Let's zoom out, sorry. And then what we're going to do right now is to track our mask forward. We could go frame by frame. While making a few adjustments to our mask like that. We could tell Adobe to track forward, but I don't like doing that. Sometimes it's good to do it manually. Okay. 
this process requires a lot of patience. You can really take your time while doing this, especially if you're doing client work. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. When you play back, this is what we have. So as you can see, our mask is looking good. You can actually end here if you want to, but you could go ahead and even add more Lumetri layers to this particular clip. But as for now, I think I love it that way. So thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button and also please share this video. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't it already. I love you guys and I'm out of here.